Hi guys, Hayden Troco again today, and um, I'm bringing you another tutorial today. My uh, tutorial for you that I'm going to be filming is of a a little move. It's more of a beginner's move. I would class it in the beginner's category. Category, sorry. Um, it's called a makako, or some people call it a makako. Uh, yeah, makako, makako, whatever you want to call it. Um, I personally call it a macaco, and um, basically the macaco is a one-handed back handspring off of an object, so it's like, so if I'm going vibrating, it's like if you go up onto something and then you choose, actually there's nothing I can do here, instead of jumping up, turning around and just jumping off, you can do a macaco, a macaco, sorry, off of it, and it's 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 a cool move if you do it right. A lot of people struggle because they don't get their legs straight when they do it, and it doesn't look very good. Um, if you do break dance or street dance, it it is included sometimes in it, but um, I think I've already said it. A macaco is basically one hand back handspring. Uh, yeah, I have already said it, but don't freak out when I say that. It's not something you're going to do from standing, just go... <sighs> it's... You look over your shoulder, so as you do it, you normally get up. You look over your shoulder and you go up over that way. It's a neat little trick when you can do it right. So, um, the easiest place to start out is on floor, not getting your legs straight. So, if I turn you around quickly, so I'm... In sight. Uh, so basically, the easy way to start off is you probably can't see me. Um, probably a silhouette against the, the light. So if you start in like a crouch position like this, all you're gonna do is um, the hand which you vault over, whichever you find it easier to vault over. I find it my left. So all you want to do is you want to bring that behind you. So if I stand sideways like that, bring that behind you. And you throw this arm up, and as you throw that arm up, you bring your leg over as well. And you net, I wouldn't recommend starting like this and going into it. I would always start here, kind of like leaning forward a bit, and then pouncing back into it. And you don't, when you get back here, don't bring your other hand onto the floor. You want to keep that off of it. So basically, the macaco on the floor. Like a lazy macaco is this, so it's like the beginner's version of it, it's like this. It's just like that. So that's not a proper macaco. Um because I I didn't go over it you base it, it it's quite hard to explain. Really, you wanna aim for just kind of jumping around to start off with and then gradually going more over your shoulder as you go but it looks a lot better when it's done off of an object. So I'm gonna demonstrate it here off of an object for you so you can see what it looks like. Again, I'm gonna bring you back here. So, a lot of people go into the macaco via a Kong or a monkey. So that's going like this. And when they go from here, they often um, twist, obviously it's me on this hand, so if I go here, when they get to here, and they're still up on the wall, they twist that hand round to the edge of the wall, and then they go backwards. But as they do it, they bring their feet further forward so they can kick higher. So if I demonstrate one for you, the macaco looks like this. So that's a macaco. It's a nice, easy move when you can get it right. But... Um, you can you can spot the floor with this. Oh, grass on the bum. Uh, it's 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 pretty simple because if you can just lean back over your shoulder and then kick up, you've got it. It's it's something you just want to go and try. Try it on the floor first, then bring it up to here. So what you want to do when when you can do it on the ground. 
really well. So when you can almost stand here and just go around like that, then take it to the wall and all you want to do is when you're at the wall, you're going to kong up and as you kong up, you bring your feet forward, but your vaulting hand, the hand you're going to use to macaco off behind you, twist your shoulders round and throw your arm over. Because there, I've got a clear sight of the ground and I can keep it there. So to start off with, what you want to do is when you're here, you just want to go like that. You don't want to go over, you want to go sideways just to start off with. So it's like going like this. Just to get the feel for it on height. And then gradually start building it up. So I'm going to show you what you don't want to do with a macaco. Which is have your legs in like this as you go over. If you have your arm, if you have your whole body elongated out, it looks a lot cooler. So remember what I was saying earlier on about what the macaco is used for. About conging up saying, oh I don't want to do this. And then going over. The macaco, basically what I meant by that is instead of just going up. Oh, there's nothing I can do here. And jumping back down. You can link your move. So if you run up, you think, oh, there's nothing to do. You get up here, you can macaco off. So going back to what I was saying literally a second ago. Um, what not to do. So this is, a ba this is a demonstration of a bad macaco. Okay, see I had my knees quite into my chest all the way through that. And then if you can get your legs out straight. So this is like, this is how I do my macacos. It might not be perfect, but I get my legs out fairly straight when I do them. Okay, so this is a proper one. Now, of course with this, you're not going to go all the way like... You're not going to go over that way. You're going to go slightly sideways. So it will seem like you're just going sideways over it. Because, um, because your hand, you're only going off with one hand. If you try and do cartwheel with two hands, you go in a line. You do it with one hand, you'll always twist over a bit more. If, unless you're a gymnast, you can get it perfect. But yeah, you just want to focus on getting it sideways, I'm going to try and do it on my right hand so you can see what I'm on about. So you're here, keeping it there, see my hand twists round, and as I look over, I see the ground, and from there, I push up, and over. That probably wasn't the best one I've ever done because it was on my opposite hand, but um... Yeah, it's not my best one I've ever done. I've done better. But yeah, I'm going to do another demonstration for you. I'm going to put the camera directly behind me so you can see how my body travels. If I put you here, you can see the wall I'm going to go off of. So, from here, macaco off that way. So this is how I do my macacos. It might not be perfect, but hopefully it is. And then I land facing that way. And then from there, you probably could go back into a normal back handspring. Or from there, you can land it and then twist around into however you want to go. So yeah, that is the Macaco tutorial. My name's Hayden Troke. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my other tutorials, my other videos. And like, like them, comment on them, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you very much. Peace out, bros.